GetTheTea.com. I love drinking Get The Tea. And actually, whenever we travel, my wife and I, Ronnie, we, um, we you know, don't feel as good to, unless we get back and get back to the tea. So uh, welcome to the broadcast today. Thanks for having me, Pastor. Hey, Amen. It's great to have you. Ronnie, I got some questions for you, all right? <clears throat> and, and these are questions I get from folks who watch our interviews. And they said, can you ask Ronnie, should we be concerned about Chinese chicken and the bird flu? I mean, sh- uh, imports, you know, the fish of Fukushima. I mean, really, is there any concern here? Chinese chicken, very good. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. No, um, he- here's my take. I mean, I'm not saying everything that's coming in from out of country is, is crystal clear, beautifully clean and all that. I, I wouldn't say that. But it's probably no worse. In fact, it could be even better than the U.S. Because, um, and this is just my take. It doesn't mean it's true. But I don't trust the big pharma. And big pharma loves to have us sick because as long as we're sick, we go buy their drugs. And as long as we buy their drugs, they make billions and billions and billions of dollars. So the Chinese aren't like that, and big pharma's not as big in China or Russia or Australia or England. So um, that's just my take. Um, should we be a biggest thing we should be concerned with with out of country? To me, would be parasites. But also, don't don't forget that we kind of hear this mass media blitz that says the only thing that parasites really bad is Mexico, which there's truth in in South America. But on the same token, 85% of U.S. Americans have parasites. Oh. So, um, and parasites will eat you alive. I mean, mm. they're not a good thing. Um, there's there's so many different worms, and I don't want to get into it. It's very, very gross. But long and the short of it, I thought, personally, you know what? I, I, I don't want to have parasites because it rips you, it kills your immune. We can go on and on. Um, and the pharmaceutical companies, which is weird, kind of don't go after parasites. Kind of like parasite what? Who? Where? So I'm not sure about that. They do have something that kicks them out pretty good, but they don't really ever seem to prescribe for parasites, which is asinine. Yeah. I, don't I mean, understand. it's it's kind of like they just kind of ignore that as as if that's not they don't they don't focus on it. They don't do reports on it. They don't target it with their pharmaceutical. Right, right. And you know what's interesting is like a lot of people have diabetes. It is kind of a known fact that if you cleanse from parasites, and let's just say somebody with diabetes has parasites, bad case of parasites, and they cleanse from parasites, it could actually, are you ready, cure their diabetes. What? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. So, And that's not counting all the other stuff. I mean, it is over the top. So this could be, I don't know, could be one of the problems that I'm seeing. Because pharmaceuticals have something that really takes care of uh, parasites and gets rid of it. I don't know the name of the drug. But it's um, really good, kills the, the parasites. But they hardly ever prescribe it, and they hardly ever look for it, and they hardly ever... You know, and I could tell you some of the symptoms, but it would be gross and we'd grow. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't, don't tell me. Well, how do I get rid of the parasites, Ronnie? What do I do? Well, here's what's interesting, Pastor. And so I thought to myself, you know, I, I want to make sure I'm cleansed from parasites. So I got this really cool parasite cleaner that on the Internet. And it, it's, you know, there's thousands and thousands of people say, ooh, ah, ooh, this is really good. So I, I, I got this. Well, anyway, I'm on this thing for like days and days and days and nothing's happening. And I'm like, hmm. Well, I can tell you why. Because when you drink the tea, it automatically doesn't. The herbs don't like the parasites, and the parasites don't like the herbs. So your chances of cleansing from parasites by drinking the tea are very strong. Wow! So if you have a really bad case, you might need to get a, a colon cleanse, which not a colon cleanse, but a, a parasite cleanse. But more than likely, if you just have a mild case, the tea is going <laughs> to do some damage to the parasite. So I think that's kind of exciting. Okay, now you have regular tea and you have super strength. I mean, get the tea.com, folks. Ronnie McMullen, get the tea.com. So if, if the parasite thing is the super strength better or is it just better for taste? Or what's the story? Super strength is just more powerful, 25% more powerful than the regular tea. And then okay. if you really want to go for the gusto, and this will take out other things too. So you, if you're taking medicine, you got to make sure with the tea or a power cleanse or even the regular tea that you're at least two or three hours out because um, our, our our tea, which is herbal tea, it's not just green tea, it's an herbal tea, will literally take out the drug 
and kick its booty right out of your body. So if you're needing the medicine, you don't want to be um, taking it exactly the same time as you're taking your medicine uh, because you'll be in some big trouble. But so if you really want to get the parasite, you know, let's say you have a bad case, I would suggest our power cleanse because the power cleanse is <laughs> even stronger yet. It's kind of like stay home and watch the toilet kind of idea. Right, really get a good cleansing. So in other words, if, if you're taking medication, a lot of folks out there, you may have high blood pressure, you know, uh, and certain medications you do need. If you take those in the morning, then maybe you can drink the afternoon tea at four o'clock tea time. Would you say? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, just three or just need a three or four hour. They say two hours, but you know, I've the more study I do and the more I see what's going on. And this is so funny because the pharmaceutical companies and the doctors, because they're kind of together. Well, there's still some great doctors out there, by the way. But the doctors, they'll say, oh, herbs don't work. Okay, supplements don't work. Well, here's here's what I would say to that. So if supplements don't work, why does every doctor tell you, well, make sure you don't take any supplements around this medicine because it will interact with the medicine. Well, uh -huh. if it interacts with the medicine, it must be working. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like, hello, yeah. are, are we, you know? And so then the question is, do I need the medicine or do I need the supplements? Okay, so there, there, there comes the, the, the rub, right? That, that's the rub. And, you know, I, I, there are some doctors um, that are out there that are doing the natural thing, and, and they're still prescribing drugs because I, we do need some of the stuff. Right. But there are, there are answers to some of the basic uh, – I've got to be careful. There's, there's, there are answers to some of the basic situations that you're in that you go to the doctor for that can be better because you take a herb versus you take a drug. Right. And you have to educate yourself in that so that you know which uh, herbs are better for certain things. And that leads me to this question because doing a little research, checking it out, seeing what Natural News and other people may say out there, and uh, looking at some of the top, what they call the best teas for detoxing and cleansing. And uh, one is milk thistle, one is garlic, and one is ginger. Uh, are you familiar with any of those? Yeah, we have ginger root, we have blessed thistle, which is like a milk thistle, and we have milk thistle actually in our ingredients. Um, persimmon is really a big digestive issue um, and really helps with digestion. If you took the garlic and some of the things are in the top 10, um, <laughs> you'd be drinking something that would probably make you puke. You couldn't drink <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, It's too it, strong. It, yeah, it's too strong. It's really strong. And like garlic, am I for garlic? <laughs> Well, of course I am because I have Allison Advanced, and Allison Advanced is something that lots of people don't have because it goes to get the tea, and it's basically equal when you take one pill, it's equal to 34 to 40 cloves of garlic. So when you're talking about a detoxing, you're talking about driving your cardiovascular in a beautiful way. It's going to drive your cardiovascular wonderfully on target. Um, you definitely want to get the Allison Advance because, again, it's like 40 cloves of garlic. Wow. And except you don't have the stink, you don't have the breath, you don't have right. the, out your pores, all the garbage that goes with you if you just had a clove of garlic in your mouth. Right. So you get all the benefits without some of the other side effects or uh, maybe and, and what it does. So is it is it helping you with your cholesterol? I mean, just a question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For me. Okay. okay, I better say for me because I got to be careful okay, with the okay. uh, the laws out there. Okay. Right. Well, I've been muffled, man. I can't say anymore. I can't. I can't talk anymore. What's it do for they your got, cholesterol, they got a gun Ronnie? In my head, Pastor. What do I do? What What's it do for your cholesterol, Ronnie? Is it effective? okay for my cholesterol? So it drops my cholesterol. Cholesterol is a hard one to drop, and mostly you're going to drop cholesterol just so you know in diet, not in supplements, not in drugs. I mean, drugs do do something. It's because it's shutting other things down. So triglycerides, um, I was right around, I want to say I was around 211, dropped down to 142, okay, in 30 days. Um, and here's the big one for me, blood pressure. My blood pressure was 150, 160, over 82. And now I just took a blood pressure, in fact, three days ago, and it was 113 over 73. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. a beautiful thing. Beautiful. So it's cardiovascular, cardiovascular. Did I say cardiovascular? Yes. Yes, you did. You absolutely did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want a good heart. You got to take care of your heart. You got to take care of your blood system. 
um, you want to make sure it's it, it gets doesn't get clogged up. That's how people have heart attacks. Yeah, not so a good you, thing. You clean that out and take care of that, and garlic does that. Uh, my pine bark does that too. Um, you just take care of that, and you, you, you're gonna you're gonna get real good, you're real good. And even down to the niacin, because the niacin opens up your blood vessels and lets things pass through and cleans you up. And so there's some neat things that God has given us in the trees and in the plants to combat intruders. Right. So it, so in other words, I mean, this is God's plan. I mean, it's, to, it's the herbs of the field, the seeds of the field, the, you know, uh, all of the natural opportunities for us is from the very dawning of time was God's way of helping us to cleanse our body, to nourish us, to build up our immune system. What can we do to build up the immune system, Ronnie? Well, immune system is back. You're back to the Allison Advance. Um, you're back to cleaning your colon. And by the way, God created herbs before man, so kind of a preparation that man was coming. Right. He developed the herbs first. It's in Genesis. So what's interesting is when you have... Um, when you take these herbs, and you're talking about immune system, because when we're talking about, say, geoengineering, chemtrails, climate change, it's all the same stuff. When that comes in, okay, you your immune system gets compromised. And when your immune system gets compromised, we're talking about your gut, okay? okay. Um, you're, then you start getting what is called disease and dis-ease, disease, dis Ease. Mm -hmm. So you get this disease, and the next thing you know, you're not doing really well. So we have three things to combat that in a great way. There's all kinds of things actually on our website to combat, but let me give you the big three. In fact, that's what I call it on a special. It is our tea, our super strength tea, which we talked about earlier. Right. It's also our uh, Allison Advance, which we just talked about. Right. And our colostrum, what? which is um, really a help for the immune system. So the colostrum, um, if you guys have stomach aches out there and you're going, oh, oh I can just tell you why. Get some colostrum and feel better. Um, it will start help you get your immune system better. It's going to help you maintain health um, or more. And uh, you're going to love it. And it's on sale by put, by when you buy all three, you save money so you can have. And let me tell you something. Everything going on. I mean, it's crazy, Pastor. I know you talk about all this stuff. Everything going on in the politic-type uh, world with Mr. Trump. And, and it's not that he's a bad guy, but um, just there's a lot of people that have hate in, oh, in politics. It's right. crazy. It is crazy. So they're all opposing each other. They can't get along, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, they're trying to stir wars, trying to stir fear, trying to stir all this stuff. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a few extra goods, supplements, because if the water goes bad, the air goes bad, so-and-so goes bad, you need in, you know, warriors to help combat those intruders in wow. your body. Wow. So it's not a bad idea to have a little bit in the in the closet. That's you just know, my That's opinion. a very good point. And, folks, this is Ronnie McMullen from GetTheTea.com. From GetTheTea.com. Matter of fact, the big three, the... Uh, uh, is what he has. He talks about there's some specials at his website, and you can go there and you can say, I want to get the big three. And I'm hearing you say, you know, for folks that are preparing for uh, any kind of catastrophe, earthquakes, some kind of cataclysmic uh, apocalyptic event, you know, for a, a zombie apocalypse, I don't know. But uh, you might need more than just water and a bucket of beans. You're saying you might need some supplements to help you along because what if the water isn't being filtered no more because the power's out or you know right. the, you know what I'm saying so it can get scary out there right uh, let me ask you a question harvard has done a study on this you know this uh, geoengineering and they they they're talking about it they're, they're I mean, if they're talking about it, it then it's not a conspiracy theory right for once <laughs> I, mean, I mean i'm right. tired of being called a conspiracy theorist this is a harvard study what are yes. they what are they recommending about our pollution that's in the air and what's causing it well they're basically saying in the article that they have a whole study they have a whole program anytime you see the word program uh, flags should need to go up so they have a whole program and they're going to help us okay in their okay. study they're gonna help us and they're gonna guard us from the nasty Sun because the Sun's killing people and the solar rays are killing everything isn't that interesting the, it seems our trees and our humans the humans need Sun because that's called d3 
They actually make it in a bottle now, and it's called a vitamin. So why do we have to have D3 when we can go out in the sun and just get natural D3? Oh, that's right. We can't do it because the mass media says if we go out in the hot sun, we're going to get skin cancer. Um, I'm going to just tell you this. What a crock. That is wow. a crock. What a the comment. only thing you're getting skin cancer from is the chemicals in the air, okay? Uh, the aluminum, the barium, and, and strontium, all the stuff that's being dropped in these in these con, con, trails, these chem trails. I, I hate saying that word because it's been so overplayed that they're like, oh, yeah, chem trail. There's no such thing. Well, they call it climate change geoengineering. And here's this, here's the scary thing, Pastor, is um, Trump, and, and again, I'm not against him, but I, I do have a duck eye on him. He does not believe in climate change. Right. Now, I don't believe in the global warming thing. I think that's a big crock. But right. yeah, there is climate change because they're changing the climate. This is why wow. when all of a sudden they spray, you have fog, you have wind, these big wind gusts that go 50, 60 miles an hour, and then it's right. as still as can be, and right. then it's 60 miles an hour, and then it's still as can be. That's because you're messing with God's uh, climate. Right. You, you don't do that. Manipulation. So, manipulating of the weather, yes. whether it's through harp or some other type of chemicals that create rain clouds. You know, I was watching a documentary just last night on Hiroshima when we dropped the bomb. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was a horrific event. We know this. But two days after the bomb, it started to rain. Of course, they had no water. The people were suffering everywhere. It was a horrific scene. It started to rain. The people were waiting for the rain with their cups. They were with their mouth open. And it rained black rain from yeah. all of the... It was radiation, heavy in radiation. And I thought yes. about this, black rain raining. That means chemicals can stay up in the rain clouds and hover for a while before they finally are released. If well, that... they called it for a while in the Air Force. They call it cloud seeding. And many years ago, you know, I was on radio. I, I interviewed a, um Air Force uh, pilot and told him about this. And, boy, he hung up on me. Little in the middle of the interview, hung up on me. We don't do that. you know. And he, he was an older gentleman. Right. And in you know, and I, I respect that. The reason being is because a lot of people at the lower levels don't don't have no knowledge that geoengineering is going on. Okay, right. and you know, geo is means earth. Okay, so they're saying earth engineering. Well, why would we engineer the earth when God already engineered the earth? Mm. So that means we're trying to take the control from God and put it in man's hands. Anytime anything goes in man's hand, this goes back to pharmaceuticals. You go to pharmaceuticals. And, and you go back and wind the clock back 125 years, pharmaceuticals were mostly plant-based, okay? Right. Now they're mostly synthetic. Mm. So it's much like our food is not going to be plant or animal-based anymore. It's going to be synthetic. They already have meat that's not meat that they've grown from stem cells that's not even meat. It, it's oh. like, oh, this is... So this is what they're doing to us, and we're supposed to eat this. And, of course, the media is like, yeah, I tried the chicken, and I tried the hamburger. It was so good. It tasted like real hamburger, real chicken. I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, here, you can drive a car. No, no, you better drive this imitation car. It's like a car, but it's not a car. And so you say, well, what's the difference? Well, there might be a few safety hazards, but don't worry about it. Right. Yeah, they're trying to make this narrative that, man, in other words, they're, make, they're doing exactly what the – the Bible says not to do, and that's mixing the seeds, genetically modifying yes. the organisms in the in the in the corn, and the and and then the corn gets turned into the corn syrup, and that stuff goes into all the chips, it goes into all the food we eat. In other words, this genetically modified food, genetically modified yep. uh, weather, uh, the everything is synthetically or genetically being altered. And if it's being altered, it's not being it's not pure. It's not from the hand of God. It's it's man's manipulation which always messes up. Well it's man's technology and for those who believe in Atlantis, um, that is basically what stopped them from they were a very smart race, but what stopped them from growing and going better was technology. That's why they went down. We are on the same road, and you know, to me, it's a very, <laughs> to me, it's almost a scary time. So we really need to be in in the faith. We need to be um, pointing our prayers. Literally, I believe in pointed prayers, to where you don't just do your cover prayer. You do the hey, you know, here's where I'm going, you know, and you pray because, you know, God listens to us. So to me, this is where we need to be because. Um, and my wife reminds me of this when I see the chemtrails. I just go, oh, and I get so angry because they're poisoning all these people. And 
the elderly can't take it, so they're going to oh, go down first. And of right. course, the the global elite does not want to take care of the elderly. They want them to die at maybe 60, 65. Um, they don't want to take care of the elderly. So if they can get them in sickness with aluminum and barium and the respiratory and, and cardiovascular and every other, other thing, then they don't have to take care of them. There's, they don't have to pay out all the Social Security money and all the stuff that they don't have. So <laughs> we're yeah. just really at a challenging time, Pastor. And, and to it me, you've got to keep your faith on the 100% part. Amen. You know, the Bible says the Lord said, I, uh, Paul said, I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And, and, and God really wants you to have a full, complete, blessed life. Um, you know something? I have psoriasis, okay, Ronnie? Not yeah. real, not real bad, but I do have it, and it, and I know it's in the always in the winter. It flares up more, the dryness inside, no lack of sun, and yeah. I love it. I'll get, I'll be like that and I'll say, Heidi, I need to get somewhere to a beach. I need to get somewhere next to a pool. I need some sun, and though I found out for me that if I do get and go into the ocean, if I spend a couple days along uh, in the sun. And in the ocean, I don't know if it's the salt water, I don't know if it's the sun, but man, it will cleanse me or do something other, but it will cleanse my skin. It, it, yeah, I'll get a little bit of a tan, but I won't have a flare up for weeks and where mm. the medication might be just for a few days kind of helps and mask it. So is there right. something there? I mean, is it, is, it, is it the sun? Is it the salt? Is it the combination? Do you have a clue? Well, there's a few things. Um, if you go to the ocean, you know, the frequency of the water is about, a, if I remember right, it's about 7.3, and it's a very calming effect. And so when we're stressed, we're, our body reacts, okay? okay yeah. We're stressed about anything, we're, you know. And when you're telling the truth, you know, out on, on YouTube <laughs> about what's going on, it kind of stresses you. Yeah, so yeah. I, I got out of radio because, you know, I'm sitting here being a truth teller, and I go, oh. Oh, you know, I'm, my stomach's getting cramped. I mean, so I said, yeah. you know what? There's other guys that do it just as good, if not better than I do. So I'll just kind of bow out and try to be on the positive side over here. <laughs> but so anyway, stress is number one. Uh, two, the sun is always, 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 always good for you. Now, should you sit out there and burn until no. you're crispy critter? No. No, no, no. But on the same token, don't be, if you're going to fear, this is just a fact, 90% of fear never takes place. Right. So what you fear, 90% of it will never happen. So right. if you're fearing skin cancer, then you're kind of opening the door to maybe even getting skin cancer just because you fear it, right. just because you're stressing about it. So right. go out there, get the D3 because you need D3. You need it. Yes. Most people now are D3 deficient. Yes. Get your free, and it's free. You right. don't have to buy a bottle. You just go out there and get some free D3 just getting in the sun for 20 minutes. Right. And you won't get skin cancer. And putting your feet in the water you get right in that frequency of 7.3 and it's just like the most calming effect and you kind of just it's you know it's a time where you just have peace and peace right. always wins over oh it does it really does you deep de-stress de detox de drinks some get the tea.com while you're down by the pool you know what <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> one thing about i'll just throw this out there for you but you know the dead sea i've been to israel many times and yeah. i've been to the dead sea and people people literally want the mud from the Dead Sea. They Correct. say there's a lot of healing properties. There's a lot of cleansing there. Uh, is it because of the the, inten the, the intensity of the uh, the brimstone and fire that fell from heaven? Is there been a is there been is there something special about it? Is it the Holy Land? I mean, what's your what's your take on it, Ronnie? Well, that's a good question. I think, you know, and it, it's all a belief system and and beliefs are interesting. That's an interesting realm. Um, what you believe can change you in a good way, and what you believe can change you in a bad way. Mm. Uh, beliefs will make you argue, and mm. beliefs will make you unite. So beliefs are kind of a funny thing. My take on it is sea salt, period, is so very good for you. Right. And then, of course, there's quality of sea salt. So it is my opinion that over in the Holy Land, it's a great quality of sea salt, and that is a natural healer. Again, um, we can talk about different stories that have happened. That's fine. But really, God has laid everything out in the natural form with trees and herbs and salts and, uh, you know, Himalayan salt, another oh, beautiful that's thing. That's what we use, pink Himalayan salt. We only yes, use that only. and yes. sea salt. Sea salt is sea so good, good for you. And there's different grades of sea salt. So, right. um, you know, just my opinion that it, it has to do with the elements that are really created by God in the very first. So... 
um, it, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting. Um, and I love to come up, you know, and find new things and go, oh, well, is this good? You know, because there are people, you know, I, I remember clear back years ago, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I, I live near Sedona, so I call them gurus. And I love them, but they're just a little, you know, I call them woo-woos. <laughs> they're, they're a little woo-woo. And that's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that, you know. Okay, you know okay. love, love is acceptance. Right. But they, they, you know, believe in these crystals and these rocks and everything else. And so I was kind of, you know, poo-pooing the whole thing. Well, quite honestly, um, when you do your work on, on it, there is a lot of healing properties in the actual rocks. Now, the rocks are natural, made by God. So guess what? Does that make sense? Yes. Do I think I can put a crystal over my heart and, you know, cure myself of a heart attack? Absolutely not. No. But there is power in granite. There's power in different rocks because there's different energies in different rocks. And that is real. So... All to say, God laid everything out. I mean, he kind of, I think God knew that we were going to shoot ourselves in the foot. And I, I think he has these hidden elements right into nature that will help us get along when we need it. Wow. What, a, what Folks, Ronnie McMullen, GetTheTea.com. Uh, he's got tremendous products. You speak about the rocks. You know, even Jesus said that if we don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. Just saying. Yes. There's a little bit of energy yes. there, okay? It's, everything was created <laughs> in his image and likeness. All right, folks. Ronnie, we've got about three or four minutes here. What? Tell people what they need. Tell them some special products that are at GetTheTea.com. Okay, I'm, I've got something new. I've got two new things, and I'm okay. going to be real quick here. Number one, I've got, uh, for those of you that love the uh, Life Change Tea, the Super Strength, I've got a new tea that's pomegranate. It's called Formula 13. has a couple extra additives. It has a little bit of stevia, so it's sweet, so you diabetics can have it too. It's not going to affect you. It also has moringa in it. We talked about moringa on the show. It also has aloe in it, which is very good for your tummy. So all these are in the Formula 13. It's got a race car on it. It's really cool. Go Formula look 13. It's pomegranate. That's biblical. I mean, the pro are you serious? The pomegranate is such an important, oh, I can't wait yes. to drink this tea. Does it yes. taste good, Ronnie? Does it taste oh. good? It tastes really good, yeah. Okay. I did myself with this one. Okay. Um, so I've got that, and I want to talk about it. But here's something else I want to talk to you. This is super huge, super huge. Okay. Um, there, there's very few people I partner with because sometimes it's just, you know, I, I don't get with wacky products. But if you go on the front front page of Get the Tea, scroll down toward the bottom, and it says, who, lo who loves life change products? Underneath that, you'll see from pain to performance, foundation training. I want to tell you real quick about this. For those of you out there that have back pain, okay, and you've had back pain and you're even contemplating surgery, mm. Eric Goodman is in charge of this. You can click on this. It'll take you right to it. There's some videos. They're going to cost you about 70 bucks for the videos. But let me tell you, I thought this guy was a guru, goofy goo, and uh, but I had back pain, terrible, terrible lower back pain, mid back pain. So anyway, I bought these videos, and I tried out these goofy positions that make you stretch. And let me tell you something. Back pain is going bye-bye. He cures 90% of the people that come to him, cures them, do, and it's a decompressing. The way that he stretches you is a decompressing. Everyone can do it. doesn't matter if you're overweight, if you're skinny, if you're tall, if you're short. It doesn't make any difference. And let me tell you something. It's one of the best things that's come around. And it's not – I'm actually going to – to contemplating going to be a trainer that is how much i believe in wow. this. so if you have back pain click on from pain to performance there's a click there and go there and get the videos and wow and, and look him up on the internet eric goodman is his name and he is the most convincing even to the point stars jeff bridges was talking about it on, on a talk show and he said you know what i was in this film and i couldn't hardly fi finish the film because my lower back hurts so bad and he says, you know, I found this guy named Eric Goodman and this foundation training, and I did these goofy stretches, and he shows the people on the video how to do it. And he goes, and my back pain was gone. And he says, I was able to finish the film. He says, so I really, I do this every day. I believe in this. Wow. So just to tell people for those back pain, this is it. I'm telling 90%. So you have a 90%. And, and Eric Goodman himself had blown discs and problems with his discs. And he went to chiropractic school and everything else, and he says, you know what? I started learning this and doing this, and the next thing you know, I'm better. So this is just for, for – it's not a hope thing. It's a done deal thing. 
Ronnie McMullen, GetTheTea.com, always encouraging, he's always uh, informative, and he has great products, and GetTheTea.com, get the tea, folks, and check out everything that he has at his website, and uh, look, stay healthy. Ronnie, thank you for coming on and being with us today, I've really enjoyed it again. Thank you, Pastor. And by the way, in your mailbox, you should see a nice race car. Formula 13's oh, coming your way. Good, good, good. All right.